Wolverines beating Ohio State here in the big house, 40 to 34. I'm very pleased and proud to introduce the head football coach of the University of Michigan, Brady Hoke. This is an elite job and will continue to be an elite job. This is Michigan, for God's sake. Hey! Travis, 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 good. Now, hey, good hands, driving back. There's just a new energy out here. You know, guys are um, excited about practicing. That's kind of a first out here. Um, the enthusiasm is all the way up. You know, just a bunch of 11 guys on the field being hungry. There you go, Michigan! The feeling of the team is unbelievable. I've never felt this, even in high school peewees or anything. And so I was really excited to see what happens. I feel like this team's coming, come so far. Press, 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 press. Good, big Will. He's a tough guy, and I think the whole team likes him, and I, th I think the whole team's buying in already. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And critical too. He's been critical of me to a point that I've been criticized since probably never. So I got Coach Hope, Coach Madison, and I got Coach Montgomery all on my back, but it's going to make me better in the end. And we are almost ready to kick off the 2011 season of Michigan football. What time is it? Game time! So what time is it? Game time! Are y'all ready to rock? You rock! Are y'all ready to rock? You rock! And in a moment, they will be led out under that M Club banner for the first time with head coach Brady Hoke at the helm. As he delivers the ball, it's up in the air. It's going to be picked off by the Wolverines. And heading back up the sideline the other way, there goes Brandon Heron. He's got a convoy with him, and he's going to take it to the house. Brandon Heron goes 94 yards. Here's Carter to throw. Blitz coming. He's leveled. The ball pops loose. It picked up inside the 30-yard line, and it's going to be run back for a touchdown by, guess who? Brandon Heron again. What promises to be a stirring pregame show tonight in an electric atmosphere in Ann Arbor for the first night game in the 84-year history of this venerable stadium. And the first player to receive the distinction of Michigan football legend, number 21, Desmond Howard. Drops the throw, lobs it up. Right corner of the end zone. Jeremy Gallon's got a touchdown. He beat Gray to make it a 24 to 20. Note for David Lee. Third down and one. The handoff to Wood. He's not going to get it. He's going to be stopped for a loss. Craig Rowe in the backfield first. Everyone had faith in each other. No one ever gave up, and there was never any doubt in anybody's mind. And that's what you need to win football games. He's going to roll right to throw. He's going to flip back a screen back the other way to Vincent Smith. Splits two man to the 15. He shakes about at the 10. The 5. Touchdown, Michigan! With a minute 12 to go. And the pass. And look out. A wide open Theo Riddick inside the 5. He is hit at the goal line, but carries it over and into the end zone for a Notre Dame touchdown with 30 seconds left to go. Here's Denard scrambling around. He's firing. Wide open Gallon up the side. Down in Notre Dame territory. Cuts to his left. 35, 30, racing to the far sideline. 20, 15, out of bounds with eight seconds to go. Denard back to throw from the 16. Got to throw it in a hurry. Lobs it up in the end zone around tree. He adjusts to the ball. He's interfered with. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Michigan, with two seconds to play. 35, 31, the lead. Wild moves forward. He bounces it, it hits at the 40 of Notre Dame, bounces down to the 30, Riddick comes up, he falls down, it's picked up by Collinsworth, now it's loose, scooped up by the Wolverines, and Michigan wins with four fourth quarter touchdowns to stun the Irish. That was a team win, if I had to define what a team, complete team win, everybody, you know, no one quit and we played 60 minutes of football. I think we've got some fighters on this defense. We've always known that, and uh, you know, guys just continued to battle. And they bought into the scheme, and uh, thought we played hard. You know, and, and like I said, guys kept fighting, and good things will happen to keep fighting. This is Michigan. <laughs> we expect to win every single time, whether it's two seconds left of the game or it's the first quarter. This is Michigan. I 
formation. Handoff goes to Green, the third back off the right side. He lunges on top of the pile and did not get into the end zone. First down, Michigan. They're going to run short side left with Vincent Smith. What a nice job setting up his blocks. He's over the 50. Cuts back right 40, 35. Now against the green inside the 30. We definitely got in the rhythm. We gave the team some momentum. And we just took it for, took it for a touchdown. He juggles the snap, pulls it in, races up the middle. Nobody's going to lay a finger on him. Touchdown, Michigan. Four receivers, diamond formation left. They throw a screen out there. It's going to be a double pass. And the ball is thrown deep down the sideline. And it's intercepted. A one-handed grab over the shoulder by Thomas Gordon. They gave us a little funky formation. And um, our coach always say, your eyes will lead you to the truth. So um, a guy leaked out, and I just ran with him, and I made a play. He's got Javante Green, the lone setback. Fake the hit. Rose in the backfield, and down goes Gillette. We're not even close to where we need to be. So uh, we just need to keep improving and, uh, you know, hopefully we turn to that uh, great Michigan defense. Denard's going to just run it out of the shotgun, following the right side of the line. Omame clears the road for Denard Robinson. They're going to run Hillman with Escobar pulling in front of him on a trap block. And Hillman fights his way down, fumbles the ball at the 40 of Michigan, and it looks like the Wolverines have got it. I think we're coming together more. I think we're... Uh becoming more more of a defensive team. It's a thing about unity and um, coming together as one. Well. The reason why we were successful is because of our turnover margin. Something that coach always talks about is getting turnovers, getting to the ball. If you get to the ball, good things are going to happen. we got things to improve on. we got to keep improving, uh, just keep fighting, and uh, never give up, play all four quarters. They're not going to keep it to a big hole. He's gone, friends. 30, 20, 10, touchdown Michigan. Denard Robinson, 53 yards. And here come the Wolverines for the Big Ten opener against the Golden Gophers. Bernard, low snap, picks it up, gives it to Vincent Smith, going to his left around the end, and he's in for a Michigan touchdown. Denard under center, toss sweep to Vincent Smith. He's going to stop and throw into the end zone. Wide open, Drew Dillio, touchdown Michigan. And I just put in the right place at the right time, and the coaches know what I'm capable of. I just... Whatever I had to do for the team to help them out, so real, real fun. And the last time, like, I, I threw a pass, was, like, in high school. Denard Robinson off a play-action fake, rolls right, he's going to fire a throwback screen, left side, Vincent Smith with blockers in open field. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Michigan. Left. He's going to pitch it back and sees a touchdown for Adonis Smith. Out of Northwestern regains the lead 20 to 14 with 2.21 left in the half. We've been in that situation before as a team, and you know, this year and last year, it's like, you know, anything we can do to pick it up, uh, you know, we were going to do it. You know, but for the most part, it's just like, just got to keep going. So they're not running an option. Going to keep it around the right side with Toussaint Traley, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. And here's a bootleg to the right by Devin. He can run or pass. He's going to race to the corner, pumps his arm, and gets in for a touchdown. Devin Gardner. Versa firing a screen pass to Ebert on the left side, and the favorite receiver is hit and fumbled the ball, and Michigan has recovered. They ran that bubble screen, and Jake did a good job of holding him up. And we always emphasize second guy coming to the ball, trying to rip the ball out, and he was carrying it loose, and I got it out. This will be the day of the dueling uniforms as Michigan takes on Michigan State for the 104th time. Trying to lead another fourth quarter comeback, and he hits on a slam round three, and he broke away from a tackler at the 20, and he's going to take it to the house. Roy round three. It's an end around in step. And they hand the ball off to Keyshawn Martin. He's hit and fumbles, and it looks like Jordan Kovac has the football, and he does. Denard, fake, and he's going to be sacked back on the 20-yard line. we got more games to play, and uh, the Big Ten Championship's still out there, so we just got to go ahead and play and play focused, play hard, and do what we got to do, play like Michigan. I'm going to be in there before anyone else, watching film, looking to see what we did wrong, and looking to see what type of improvements we can make. And, uh, you know, getting these guys, you know, ready for next week. And I know they're going to follow. He's a 
under center with an eye formation. He's going to throw. He's in the end zone. He's going to be sacked in the end zone for a safety. Mike Martin got through. Every team faces adversity. It's not really how you, you have adversity. It's really how you respond to it. Here's Dusan bouncing outside right. He's hit by Evans. Fights through that tackle. I still feel like, you know, we have to go out there every, every Tuesday throughout the whole week and uh, just compete compete on the running back. Misdirection pitch to Sack going left. Gets blocks from Lawan and Omame. Now he's in the open. Cuts up field to the 40. Down the center of the field 30. He's going to go. Fitz to 59 yards. Touchdown Michigan. We like to run the ball as offensive linemen. I'd personally rather run than pass and uh, when the offensive line gets gets it going, the running backs run hard. It's a, it's a fun thing. That's the end of the first half. Jordan earned a 17-6 lead at the break here at Nile Kinnick Stadium. He's going to throw again, scanning the field, lobs it into the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown by a tumbling Kevin Coger. The first half we come out, we have a couple of turnovers, and we're a little down on ourselves, but uh, came in at halftime, Coach Hope picked us up, and uh, when now defense played great the second half, I, said, I thought they did the entire game. And now we got a little bit of momentum, but uh, we just came up a little short at the end. Coker, the tailback, gets the handoff running left side. They got him in the backfield. Denard's going to lob it up. There it is, back in the end zone. And a diving one-handed catch by Big Play Hemingway. And they rule that he fell out of bounds. Three wide. Denard has the snap. Firing slant. And the ball is knocked away from round three in the end zone by Micah Hyde. Iowa wins. I think you remember the taste. You forget about it after tomorrow. You know, we'll improve on the game film, and uh, it's, on, it's on to Illinois next week. Looking over, 10 men in the box. Denard runs option left. Keeps it, and he's got a big hole thanks to a block by David Mulk for a Michigan touchdown. We had plenty of sacks, but the hurries and stuff uh, are what really accumulated to how we got off the field on third downs and stuff. He's going to throw if he can, but no, he can't. Ryan Van Bergen rides him down like a bronc. Pressures are what really got in his face and really started throwing off his timing. Shieldhouse looks over, six men in that line. The blitz coming, the quick throw, and it's picked off on the run. That's JT Floyd going the other way, 35-30. Shieldhouse races over and spins him down. Coach called a perfect play. The O-line held up. And uh, I could just hear my coach saying, go all the way across and uh, don't stop. So it just kept going. Devin hit me, I caught it, and I went in. Here's Gardner to throw. Pocket begins to collapse. He steps up, crossing route. Odoms has it inside the five. He's going to step into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Feels real good. Uh, last few road games, you know, we've been coming up short. And uh, this time we redeemed ourselves and came out with a win. Our Hall of Fame coach, Floyd Carr. Heads up the left hash, angling left to the 15 with a burst 20, 25, fumbles the football as he is hit near the 30-yard line, and Michigan has recovered. It definitely had a huge impact, and, uh, you know, that, that's what special teams has to do. You know, we got to be able to impact the game. You know, whether it's field position or, or getting turnovers, we got to do our job and, you know, help the offense and defense out. Tucson behind Hopkins. He's going to bootleg right. He's got nothing but running room behind Obama to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Michigan aware of the possibility of a fake here and a drop snap. And now the ball's picked up. The kick is blocked. It is picked up in the backfield by Nebraska. Josh Furman blocked the kick. It's a fake. Dillio's going to run it. He's got a first down to the one-yard line. How do you like that? Well, it all goes on with the competition starting up camp with all the running backs uh, just pushing me and uh, guys with great feet around me. You know, I just learned from them. And uh, also with the weight room and the uh, weight staff, we got uh, helped us a lot. Toussaint runs right, bounces it outside to the corner. Nobody home for Nebraska. Touchdown, Michigan. And the Wolverines have blown it wide open. We'll enjoy this tonight and uh, move on to, you know, we all know what's coming up next week. So I think everybody, everybody does. And here come the Wolverines for the game against Ohio State. And listen to this crowd, the energy in the stadium. Play action fake. Denard wants to go deep into the end zone, a post route. It is caught by big play, Junior Hemingway for a Michigan touchdown. We you know it was going to be smash mouth downhill, get after you, get after us. We just had to play 60 minutes of football, Michigan football. 
Denard with split backs, fakes the hand up, runs up the middle, and he's into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. We was out there playing for the seniors, and uh, I played my heart out, and uh, they, the guys did too, so that's what happened. Back goes Denard to throw, looking, 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 down the middle at the five. It is caught by Martavius Odoms, and now he spins inside, and he will score on third down and 11. We kept fighting. It's just like the old saying goes, those who stay will be champions. We all stayed. We all stayed together. We all were one as a senior class, and we made sure our entire group, our team, stayed with us. Fakes to Tucson, rolls right, lobs it in the end zone, wide open. The senior from Ohio, Kevin Coger, pulls it in for a touchdown. We finished this season, um, and we went out the way we wanted to go out. We went 8-0 at home for the first time, I think, ever. Just amazing and so proud of everybody on our team. The team effort was amazing. He's got the snap, four-man rush. Miller looks, he fires, it's tipped in the air and intercepted by Courtney Avery out of Mansfield, Ohio. The Wolverines will get a victory in Brady Hoke's first game against Ohio. <laughs> I love Michigan, there's no doubt about it. I don't care what we had to go through, I love this school, I love this university, I love this team, I love my teammates, I love my coaches. You know, this is, this is great, this is what college football is.